Okay, before we start, um, to get Superpower Chat GPT, you need to go to Google, search for Superpower Chat GPT, click on the first link, it will send you to this page where you see a button that says Add to Chrome. You can click on this button and it will add the extension to your browser. Once you add the extension to your browser, you can go back to Chat GPT. Um, First, you need to sync your conversation, and after that, you'll be able to see all of the um, features of Superpower Chat GPT enabled. As you can see, I already have some folders here. I have the search box, the top nav bar. I talked about all these features in other videos in our channel. Make sure to check those out. But let's get to today's video. So the first thing I want to talk about is the timestamp, and by timestamp, I'm talking about uh, we have two different timestamps. So the first one is this one, the timestamp on the chat, uh, on the like a conversation uh, on the sidebar. This timestamp shows the last time a chat was updated. For example, like this one, it says today, 7.02 p.m. If I go on, on this chat and just say, um, hi, you can look here and see that the chat moved to the top because it was updated. The timestamp also uh, changed to current time, like the time right now you can see at the top that, um, I don't know if you see this, but like it's 9.46 uh, p.m. So that is the timestamp. We also have another timestamp. Um, some people uh, don't know this, but there is a timestamp for each individual message that you send to chat gpt this um timestamp is off by default if you want to turn it on you can turn it on and you go back to chat gpt and if you look here you can see that like under every user input there is now a timestamp that shows the time um that that chat was um submitted i'm sorry every um every um chat gpt response not not the user input that's that it showed the timestamp that that chat was received so that is uh another timestamp that we have here i don't really um use that one so i always keep that one uh off here the second uh, feature that i want to talk about is are, are the counters in superpower chat gpt so there are um, I would say four different counters in um, Superpower Chat GPT. There is one here, one you, the one that you see here. This one shows the number of character and words in each Chat GPT response. There is also another counter down here, which shows the total number of character and words in a conversation. This one is useful well when you want to know like how long your conversation has been cut because chat gpt currently has like a limited memory you want to know that if if your um like conversation is too long to get outside of like chat gpt memory which is anywhere from like i think um i want to say eight thousand token to like thirty thousand token which in character is about about the same a little less um 75 percent i think so this is the second counter that we have in um uh, superpower chat gpt we also have another counter here right here at the bottom of the bottom right of the um the uh user um uh input where or the chat input this ca this counter shows you the number of character and the words that you type in the chat in my opinion honestly i use this counter more than any other um counter in in the chat i sometimes even use it like i'm i just i'm using another tools doing something else and i just want to know the number of like um character and word in the in like the a specific like in text input and i just use this counter that i built in in chat superpower chat you just come here paste my input and uh, see the number of character and um and boards in the input and then the last counter we have here is the counter on the bottom left of the input this counter has nothing to do with characters and boards this counter is um for um the um the um gpt4 request that you have made if you have uh, access to gpt plus you have access to chat to uh, gpt4 and you know that there is like a limit on the number of um uh, requests that you can make to gpt4 this counter 
uh, shows you two different numbers. First, it shows you the number of GPT-4 requests that you have made in the past three hours. Currently, there is a limit of 40 requests uh, per every three hours. Uh, as you can see here, it shows the um, shows uh, that you have made two out of your 40 uh, requests in the last three hours. And then right next to it, you see a <clears throat> you see a timer that <clears throat> excuse me that tells you a new request will be available in like X number of minutes. <clears throat> what this number means is that like, for example, if you, every time you make a request uh, to chat GPT, for a GPT-4 request to chat GPT, you are losing one of those 40 uh, requests per three hour limit. This number shows you the the, the, the minute that you see here is the number of minutes until you get one more uh, uh, GPT-4 request added to whatever you already have. Like, in, for example, in this case, I have 38 out of my 40 left. If I wait two more minutes, I will have 39 out of my 40 requests left uh, in my GPT-4 request. So these are um, the um, two uh, features that I wanted to show you today. Oh, out of all the counter, you have the option to disable this counter here. If you don't want to see it, you can just go to the setting, go to conversation, and there is an option that says word and character counter. You can just click on that and it will remove the uh, the counter under the um, conversation, the, the chat response. You'll still see the total counter and the input counter here because the reason you still see those counters is because these counters are, um, there's only one of those counters on the page, uh, unlike the other one that has one for each chat. And they are very minimal. They don't uh, really use that much space or like processing. So we keep them on the page. But the other one, because there is one under each uh, conversation, we have the option to remove that. So um, these are the two features I wanted to show you today, timestamp and counter. There will be more videos about like Superpower Chat, GBT, small features. Keep an eye out on our channel and let me know what you think about these features. Thank you.